All right, I'm going to start with my plush here. Um, I could not find a good way to do this. There's just so many of them. So they're in a garbage bag, so they may not be grouped together. We'll see. So the first ones I pulled out, they're not from my childhood. Well, they kind of are, but they're not mine. I found them at Goodwill and like Care Bears. So you got Cheer Bear, I think. Mackenzie, isn't that the one you had? The Cheer Bear? Maybe I'm wrong. So you got Betty Time Bear, the one that always looks stoned. And then... Birthday bear. Maybe that's the one you had. Now I'm thinking about it. I know it was one of them. You probably wouldn't watch this, so who knows? <laughs> okay. In my bag. This is one that actually was mine. Pound Purry. It's a crappy shape because I didn't take care of my toys. It wasn't that much into the pound puppies because I've always been a cat lady my whole life. The first word was cat. I'm not even kidding. And kind of with the Care Bears. Nosy Bears. His nose is cracked though. And I do have another one that had popcorn in it. And I don't know where it's at. It's, <laughs> it sucks. You see these online but I always see this one or the popcorn one. I never see the other ones. Actually I remember I had one that had like um I can't remember what it's called. Like the Valentine Day Heart Candy. It actually had that one in there too. It was white. But I don't that might be at my dad's. But the glitter still works in it. Sprinkle Spangles. That's a weird joke. <laughs> I don't know if I want to explain that. This one's from when I was a kid too. And he's pretty bad too. I think it's supposed to be a Hershey's chocolate drop. I don't know, it's as old as I am. The tag is literally ate by something. <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> I tried to look up where this guy was from. He looks like he's a cartoon character of some kind, but I can't find anything on him because the tag's too worn out to even look up. If anybody knows who this guy is, I'd like to know. I think I got him from a... Uh, yard sale when I was a kid like the school was doing so maybe when my elementary school friends know there's something in his ear now that I realize this is another guy I had when I was a baby don't know much about him he's probably just to look cute for babies honestly once again his tag is destroyed because it is old as I am Maybe older, who knows? <sighs> this one I won at Idlewild when I was a kid. I don't know why I wanted it, because I find Wells really creepy. I can't even look at a picture without wanting to freak out. But it looks like he had a cesarean section or something. Or she, I guess. <laughs> I'm guessing I probably did something when I was a kid and we had to go in and fix it. <laughs> I can't bond him because it's the only thing I ever won that was big ever. <laughs> and this is my first cat. And his head's falling off. <laughs> Her name was Salty. I do remember that. I think she actually came from like a promo from a department store or something. Look at that little tail like a Siamese cat. This is probably why I wanted a Siamese cat. Joke's on me because Toby kind of sucks. She's not really that full Siamese. She does kind of suck, but I love her. She's just a little high energy and always ruins my stuff. <laughs> Mon Chi Chi. This is not mine. Found it at Goodwill and I picked it up because I knew it was a Mon Chi Chi. <laughs> I thought it was a boy till I found it. So, like, my son here has a sister that's been in the shed. My little pageant son. He's all rhinestoned out. <laughs> That's another weird personal joke. I just got a lot of inside jokes. Kind of a weirdo. I don't lie. 
more pound berries. I gave one lipstick. You know, I just thought she needed to go out and get some more pound berries on the street or something. Got this gray one. You never find a cat that looks like Mavis, like blush or anything. Now that I think about it. So this one's from when I was a baby. It was probably given to me when I was born. It doesn't play no more. If I remember right, it played um, the theme from the love story. I think I'm remembering that right. Nobody cares, but I care. This is a puppet. I still don't know what it is. I remember I named it Fluffy. Is it a mink? I don't think it's a cat because of the ears. Or maybe like a bino fly squirrel. I have no idea. Should wash her. But it might fall apart with how old it is. But I remember my uncle sent it. My uncle and aunt. And then another puppet. And this one's been forever. I don't know if I should have stuck my hand in it. This is old as me too. Don't have any info on it. There's no tag. I was stupid when I was a kid. I used to like cut off all the tags on everything. <sighs> More cats. Go figure. So these ones, I rubber band them together. If I remember right, there were a promo with the what was it W Wild World Wildlife Fund that they gave away at Wendy's. I actually did keep them. This one's a little worse. I'm Carol Baskins. Uh, another, I can't get it. One from fast food. This piggy. This one I think I got at Goodwill. But she has her tag still on her. Doesn't go for much. I looked her up. I'm not really that attached because we just look so much alike. And I just, we both love Kermit. And it's just insulting. I don't like to be compared to Miss Piggy. And then... This is a weird one. I was looking it up. I couldn't find much. But it's a crying puppy dog doll. It's called Emotions. And it was made in 1983. It's like, you see that? Goodwill. You gotta pick it up. It's just so sad. Why would you make a dog like that? I guess so. That's a guilt you to pick it up. I don't know anything about it. It was just a cute bunny. I could tell it's a little older. I think he had clothes on now. I took him off because I was trying to find something to identify it. it did come from England. So it's from somebody that manufactures over there. Oops, sorry. Last two things. These were Wayne's. He was a Furby guy. I uh, can't get this one. So we got the Dragon Furby. I think he works, but I'm not going to put batteries in it because they're a little creepy. And then this Weird Generation 2 one. That one also works. But once again, I'm not putting anything in it because I don't want to be creeped out or like the FBI listening to me or whatever it was. Chinese. Not that it matters. I have a Huawei phone, so the Chinese already listen to me. Hello. Um, yeah, that's all the stuffs I pulled out. I'll probably get more as I go through Goodwill, but I'm just going to do my Goodwill finds like as I find them. But I do sometimes sell these things. Or, like, the ones that are mine I kept forever. Um, I know I have more stuff down at my dad's, but I'm not going to Colorado. I was thinking about it a couple weeks ago, but... You never know, they might shut down my state and I'm stuck in Colorado. I don't want to be stuck in Craig. <laughs> Craig. I don't know if anybody knows about Craig. It's just, it's not for me. As soon as I got that transfer, I was out of Craig. <laughs> I went to work in Pasco, Washington for crying out loud to get out of Craig. That was like one of my worst work experiences ever. I was like, I hate myself around that time period. I really do. But anyhow. That is all from my vintage toys right now. I'll talk to you guys later.